So we've been saying all along that Venezuela is a coup. And the, I guess, I don't know, there's people out there that saying, no, it's not a coup. No, no, no. It's uh, socialism and it's oppression. And it's, uh, it's because of, uh, of uh, Hugo Chavez and Maduro. They're oppressive dictators. Well, there's evidence, ongoing evidence, that it is, in fact, a coup. I, it, it's right in front of our face. We could see the way our military people, our, our intelligence agencies, our government, is operating, and it reveals the it reveals the coup in in full light. But now, now we have a leaked document from an admiral in charge of the southern southern command. So I'm not going to go into all of them. I'm just going to just want to push it out there so people could see it. All right, so the leaked document is coming by way of offguard.org. Leaked U.S. Uh, USA's February 2018 plan for coup in Venezuela. Ah, a coup. So they're planning. So how are they exactly planning that coup? It's all the things that we talked about. It's it's economic sanctions. It's economic warfare. It's a propaganda campaign, right? It's all revealed in this document. Wait until you see this shit. Uh, so so here's the guy, right? His name is uh, Admiral W. K. Tide uh, of the U.S. Southern South Command, right? Author. This is the author of the leaked memo. Right? So a detailed plan for U.S. State's Southern Command dated uh, 23rd of February 2018 was issued with the title Plan to Overthrow the Venezuelan Dictatorship Masterstroke and, uh, and is here presented complete. Right? This document was personally signed by Admiral Kurt W. Tide, who was commander, the chief at South Command, and he was thus the uh, top U.S. military official handling Venezuela. But this was far more than a military plan. It was comprehensive, directing military, di- diplomatic, and propaganda policies regarding the Trump administration's planned, quote, overthrow of Venezuelan's government. His plan has since guided the administration's entire operation, including, quote, the capacity of the psychological war regarding Venezuela. That's what it is. As I, we see right in front of our face that there's no real sign of oppression and, and dictatorship, and, and, but we see our talking heads saying it. Right? That's, a, that's a propaganda war. Right? And then we look at their officials, Maduro himself, saying it's just, it's just made up. It's, 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 it's retarded. Right? And so um, so here's, here's some of the highlights Again, I'm going to put the uh, I'll put the entire article down below. Get it, save it, grab it, do what you got to do with it, right? And uh, I'll thumb through it slow so you can um, read it on read it here, so you don't have to. <laughs> if you just want to read it on your phone, encouraging popular. This is what they're doing. This is the the summation of the propaganda campaign or the coup in Venezuela, or uh, orchestrated by our government encouraging popular dissatisfaction by increasing scarcity and rise in price of foodstuffs, medicine, and other essential goods for the inhabitants, making more harrowing and painful the sacrifices of the main basic merchandises. Starve the people. Right? That's what we're seeing. And you know, it says, oh, no, no, we're not, we're not doing it. How ridiculous. How ridiculous to say that we're doing it. Right? Well, there's the evidence right there. There's the commander-in-chief of the operation saying it. Intensifying the undercapitulation, capitul- capitalization of the country, uh, the leaking out of foreign currency and the deterioration of its money base, bringing about the application of new inf- inflationary measures. We're creating the inflation. We're creating the starvation, the shortage of medicine and food. and We're doing it. Full obstruct, fully obstruct imports and at the same time discourage potential foreign investors in order to make the situation more critical for the population. It's so disgusting to read this. Compelling him, Maduro, to fall into mistakes that generate greater distrust and rejection domestically. To make him look like an idiot. Right? Um, 
to besiege him, to ridicule him, and to pose him as a symbol of awkwardness and incompetence, to expose him as a puppet of Cuba. That was new. They just did that, right? He's a, he's a Cuban puppet. Right? So, so, so far, this document reveals that Pompeo, Pence, uh, uh, Trump himself, uh, definitely John Bolton, Elliot Abrams, when he opens his mouth, Steve Mnuchin, when he opens his mouth, they're all saying the same thing. They're running this one now. Marco Rubio, Wasserman Schultz out of Florida, they're all saying this now, this new one, the, the puppet of Cuba. Right? Would they all come to the same conclusion at once? No, they're, they're, it's a playbook, right? It's, a, it's an actual uh, recipe for a coup. Appealing to domestic allies as well as other people uh, inserted from abroad in the national scenario in order to generate protests, riots, and insecurity, plunders, theft, assaults, and hijacking of vehicles as well as other means of transportation with the intention of deserting this country in crises through all borderlands and other possible ways jeopardizing in such a way the national security of uh, neighboring frontier nations, causing victims and holding the government responsible for them, magnifying in front of the world the humanitarian crises in which the country has been submitted to. It's the mafia. That's what the mob does. The mob, you, you don't have a problem. The mob comes in, creates a problem, and then they say, oh, yeah, well, we're going to show you how to fix it. We're, we're here to fix it, all right? They steal your wallet, and then they help you try to find it. It's so sad. Structuring your plan to get the profuse desertion of the most qualified professionals from the country. So they're doing. They're lobbying, they're lobbying their, their Venezuelan military, right? In order to, quote, leave, to leave it with no professionals at all, which will aggravate even more of the internal situation. And along uh, these lines, putting the blame on... on of government, uh, looks like a misprint. The president of the the presence of combat units from the United States of America, and the other named countries under the command of a joint general staff led by the United States. The final paragraph that talks about that talks about it right here, right? That it's a a presence of combat units from the United States. That's coming next, right? So. Here's, there's, there's more, I'll read through it, I can't read all this, it'll take forever, right? But um, he basically outlines the coup. Here's the actual letter, that, what I just read were highlights, but here's the actual letter, uh, it was apparently top secret, right? It was a top secret leak, right? The Venezuelan, Chad, this is, when you read the first part of this, right, it's mostly his summation of what it is, right? painting this, this dire picture of Venezuela before they got there, and basically saying that their leg was already broken, now we're going to lean on it to, until they fall down. Right? I fundamentally disagree with that, that the sanctions were going on long before that, that the, the crises in Venezuela were occurring as far back as 1989, as far as we can see, right? Again, it's not to say that Venezuela doesn't have problems. Nobody is saying that. What we're saying is that in our name, in the United States name, we are creating havoc, we are creating famine, we are creating violence in someone else's nation. And that's, that's just the damn reality of it. So you can go through this. I could, I'll scroll slowly if you, wanna, if you want to um, read it. Start up here. You know, you could, and eh, one, two, three. You can, you can scroll through these. All right, so there it is. Make provisions for a black, for a back or escaping door. It's all the, it's all CIA shit. It's all like, it's all spycraft. Intensify the undercapitalization of the country. Leak out foreign currencies. I read you the summation, but this is the full. Full obstructing imports, appealing to domestic allies. That's us uh, championing. Oh yeah, we got the thirty countries support our our move, right? right. Vilify the their their uh, their allies, Russia, China, Mexico. Right. 
make use of generalized corruption, promote fatigue inside the member of the PDVSA, whatever, PSUV, inciting the annoyance, non-conformity among themselves, that structure a plan to get the profuse desertion of the most qualified professionals, continue hardening the conditions inside the armed forces to carry out a coup d'etat before concluding 2018, continue setting fire to the common frontier with Colombia, burn them out, recruiting paramilitaries mainly in the camp, campsite of refugees in Kukata, preparing the invol- involvement of allied forces. It's all out. It's all, on, it's all on coup. There's no retreat. So the idea that Juan Guaido, Juan Guaido, Juan Guaido, Juan Guaido, Juan Guaido is the throwaway gun. He's the, he's the uh, they, shoot, they, they shoot at Maduro and they, they leave the gun. That's, that's what Juan Guaido is. They're leaving him, they're going to leave him there to get shot. Watch, Juan He's next, Juan Guardo. Sorry, Juan Guardo. Organize, organizing the provisions, relief of troops, moving on the basification of combat airplanes. Full-on military talk, right? Binding Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, and Panama to the contribution of greater number of troops. Using the facilities of Panama, learn, leaning on Brazil... Full on, full on plan. Silencing the symbolic presence of Chavez, Chavis representatives of, of units. So Hugo Chavez, right? They're trying to piss on it, their history. Right? Holding the dictator and his close followers responsible. Intensify the media denouncement about the Cubanization of Venezuela. <laughs> the Cubanization of Venezuela. That's funny. Outstanding intensify, uh, outstandingly intensify the denouncement towards Maduro's regime. Consider him a criminal, illegitimate. This is all the things we're hearing. He's the illegitimate, illegitimate president. A theft of the wealth of Venezuelan people. Some who, someone who plunders the national treasury. What a document, boy. Wow, what a find. Jackpot. United States should entirely back up the whatever. Uh, and then he signs it. Damn, what a what a leak. What a leak. Holy shit, this guy, man. He set it up for us, right? So so enjoy that. Uh the 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 document, the link to the document is down below if you care to to uh read it yourself and provide comments. I'll go on and on about this. It's just I mean it's all coming out, you know, it's the um it's like it all comes out in the wash, you know. The more we focus on it, the more we look at it, the more we know we're being lied to in our name. Uh, the, you know, it's it's uh, the more we can can identify the 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 moves of the coup and hopefully expose it. I mean, mainstream media is not going to do it for us. We have to do it ourselves. At least in our heart, a heart of hearts. Even when you know, kooks on on you know YouTube are saying the opposite, saying that oh no no it's socialism. The, you know, the default, so we're proving over and over again that it's not the, it's not a, um, it's not ideology, the ideology of this terrifying word of socialism, but it's actually, it's misappropriation of funds, it's a country that's not too savvy economically, but uh, in many respects they are quite savvy, and they're having their own problems, but what happens is a big bully comes in, the bully phenomena. We come in and lean on them, right? And and again, the prize is the oil. The oil is the prize. The to 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 middle that that transaction so that we make all the money on their on their uh, oil. Right? And if if Juan Guardo, Juan Guardo, they probably have a deal with Juan Guardo, right? As Trump says, we take half the oil, half. They'll give us seventy five percent if we ask, right? That's Trump's business savvy, fucking businessman, right? So, but Juan Guardo looks like he's going to get knocked out of the box. So, so uh, kindly become a patron on, of this channel. And, um, and uh, if you want to make a one-time contribution, thank you very much for the people that are, 
are keeping this afloat. It's without you, I'm 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 gonna sink. Eh? Uh, and and um, just go, if you want to buy the stickers, if you if you do either one of those things and include your your um, snail mail address, I'll send you stickers. I'll just give you stickers. Eh? If you want to buy them on eBay, just go on eBay, Marcus Conti in the in the in the you know in the search engine sticker, and you'll find them. You'll see the old ones. You'll see the new ones. And uh, resubscribe to the channel because they're they're unsubscribing us. Marcus Conti reporting here on Venezuela. <laughs>